In this video, we're going to look at an alternative to our horizontal grip. And it would be one that would be a vertical grip. Sometimes students find it easier to grip in this with this position as opposed to this position. Your physical therapist or occupational therapist probably would be the best bet if you're unsure, uh, but having both makes great sense. And so this is the second in a part of this uh, presentation. This is a 3D printed base and peg design, but I'm using the suction cup from our original FICO glass tool. It's a matter of taking these pieces off and transferring them to the blank. All right, we need to take this assembly, this handle, this pin, this thing off here to put here. It can be kind of fun. Um, back when I originally started to use this, I need to actually need to provide upward pressure to leave to, to remove tension from the pin, and then you can actually take that clip out and disassemble this setting. I have pretty good hand strength. I know uh, that. Uh, Many people don't. Um, it, it, it actually could be a two-person job. Um, but uh, as I thought more about it, I have this squeeze clamp that uh, exerts way more pressure than my hands ever will and will hold the assembly uh, in check so that I can disassemble. Um, the first thing that you want to do prior to using the clamp is to remove this little snap ring. I like to rotate it a little bit so that I can put, uh, use, I'm sorry, use my needle nose pliers to press the top jaw on top of the pin and the bottom on the clip itself and just nudge it up a little bit. It takes a little little doing. Um, again, there's a tool that is made for this. And occasionally you can see that uh, when I'm lucky and I'm not filming myself, I often have a bit more success. So don't be frustrated by this process. Um, I know that it's frustrated me more than once. I pushed it up just a little bit now I might use my little screwdriver just to lever and you see it popped right off you don't want to lose that clip as uh, that's an interesting thing to find on the carpet in my office so we'll just kind of push that off to the side engage my clamp and you'll see how the assembly begins to rise up, that pin will push out very easily. I could use my finger, I didn't necessarily have to use a screwdriver, but just wanted to illustrate that. Take that pin out, take the handle off, and release the clamp. This pressure plate is important, you, you always want to keep that. We'll take that out of there. Lifting this off, there's our clamp. Do not lose the spring. It's necessary for the next step. So, to reassemble, we take our base and we're going to take the suction cup assembly and fit that through the hole. And something to be careful is that we want to make sure that we rotate our suction cup assembly so the hole is similarly placed. This is a great time to clamp or utilize our clamp because 
only Charles Atlas could hold that clamped in long enough. If you don't know who Charles Atlas is, you need to Google him. Anyway, we'll put that in place. We'll put our plate in, our bearing plate. And of course, remember, this handle will go this way. And so we want to make sure that we orient the handle properly and put the pin in. So we'll see if we can do this in a reasonably swift fashion. Sometimes starting it before you get the whole assembly together and kind of feel it in there. Um, we can check it. Make sure that we didn't make a mistake. Clamp her down. There she is. The only thing we're left to do is to install that little clip. And you can do it with it clamped. Or we can clamp it down to hold it in one place which makes sorry makes uh, attaching the clip with your needle nose pliers as much fun as it possibly can be position that baby push her down in there and there we have it that retaining ring holds it in place we can clamp her down we might necessarily hold it in one spot, clamp it down. We have a secure vertical grip support for students that need it.